Hello, welcome to BusyPink.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Windows 2012 R2 Hyper-V Core version on VMware Workstation 10. And I'm also going to show you how to install the VMware tools on Hyper-V Core. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to create a new virtual machine here. I'm going to select Typical, Next. I'll select, I'll install the operating system later, Next. And select Microsoft Windows. And if you see here, you will see an option called Hyper-V unsupported. Well, I, I tried Windows Server 2012 and it works great. The, it also works for Hyper-V, but the reason why I select Windows Server 2012 is because the VMware tools fit perfectly for this one. So I selected this. Next, I'm going to name this one as Hyper-V02 uh, because I already have another virtual machine with the name Hyper-V01 and both these machines are going to be in the same network. I'm going to make this virtual disk as a single file. And if you see, uh, it's 60 GB by default. That's because I have selected Windows Server 2012. Now, 15 GB is more than sufficient for a Hyper-V server. All right, so click Next. Click Customize Hardware, and uh, you will see a lot of options here. These options really depend on your network and your setup. But there are a few things which I want to tell you. If you go to processors, you will see an option called virtualize Intel VTX and virtualize CPU performance counters. You need to select these two options in case if you want to run some virtual machines inside this Hyper-V host, right? Then go to network adapter. Again, this is dependent on your setup. Uh, here I'm selecting VM Net Zero uh, custom network. And I really don't need uh, the printer so I'm going to remove that. This way you optimize the virtual machine. Then click finish and I'm going to mount the ISO image of the Hyper-V Core 2012 setup file by navigating to my software repository. All right, so here it is, click OK. Now uh, for the purpose of installation, I'm going to bump up the RAM to 8 GB. But for Hyper-V Core 2012, it's really not required that much. You can even reduce it to 4 GB after you have done with the installation, right? So let me click OK and power on the virtual machine. I'm going to select Next, Install Now. Then I'll accept the license terms and click Next. And I'll select the second option, custom, install the new version of the Hyper-V server 2000 only. Then click next and it'll start the installation. Um, just like any other Windows operating system, this is going to reboot a couple of times during the installation process. So I'm going to fast forward the video for now and get back to you as soon as the installation is completed. All right. Okay, so this is the first step uh, where we change the administrator password. Actually, we are setting up the administrator password for the first time. So, entering the password, okay. Your password has been changed. All right, that is it. The installation is completed and I'm logged in successfully. Uh, now, don't freak out. This is how it looks like in a core version. It, it really doesn't have any of the usual desktop, taskbar, and other GUIs that you see with the other Windows operating system traditionally. And that is why it's called a core version, okay? In the next set of videos, I'm going to show you how to install VMware tools and how to change the IP address and other TCP IP settings on this Hyper-V core version. And also show you how to rename the computer and join the computer to the domain. All right, so keep watching.